are watching lesson number two, organizing your Doobly videos using folders. As a reminder, it's a lot easier to learn what I'm showing you if you open up the Doobly app and do the same thing that I am doing. That way you're learning as you go. Also, feel free to pause or rewind this video if you need more time to execute a command. Slow it down. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Now we're going to discuss how you can organize your Doobly videos by placing them into folders. If you fail to create a solid foundation for keeping your videos easy to locate right from the start, you may have a difficult time locating them down the road. Now over time, you will accumulate a lot of videos, much like this course that you're watching right now. It contains 16 different videos and placing all 16 of these videos into one folder. It eliminates the need for me to search through a collection of videos that are totally unrelated to this tutorial. All right, let's get after it. Here are your folder tabs. By default, Dooley has created your first folder called My Projects. Now this is considered your master folder. To access your options for this folder, you simply right click on it. You will see three options, create, rename, and delete. Because this is the folder that Doodly uses to file all your creations in, by default, you cannot rename or delete it. Now those options are voided out. However, you can click this create button and add your own master folder. Any folders that you create on your own will allow you to rename and it will allow you to delete them. I'm going to start out by clicking on this new folder tab. When you do, a pop-up window will appear. Give your folder a title. I'm going to call this folder social media and then I'm going to click create. Your new folder will appear here. Next, I'm going to create a second folder and I'm going to call it website promotion. Now, although I created a website promotion folder, notice that it appears as a subfolder under social media. If you don't want this folder to be a subfolder, just drag and drop it to a new location. Let me show you. I'm going to click and hold down my mouse key and drag the folder to its new location and then release it. A pop-up appears asking you if you are sure you want to move this folder. I'll just click OK and boom, there it is. Hi everybody, Kellyanne here. Now you can watch each of these videos at videocaboose.com where they are neatly organized for you into one continuous tutorial. And that makes it super easy for you to pick up where you left off. If you still need to purchase the new software, I placed the link down in the description box. Click on it. All of my videos are free to share on social media channels by clicking the share button. And oh yeah, don't forget to click the subscribe button. All right, let's get back to work. Whenever you create a new folder, you're going to see a link called Create New Video. Let me show you how to best use this link. I'm going to click on the social media folder and then I'm going to click the Create New Video link. Now the next video that you create will automatically be filed in this folder as opposed to appearing here on the main screen under the My Projects tab. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click this link. I'm going to give it a title of Video Number 1. I'll just leave the remaining default settings and click create. When I do, I'm taken to the production room where you are going to create your video. Now I'll just slide this here, then I'll click save, and then I'll come up here and I'll click my videos. And when I do, I'll be returned to the home screen. However, if I come here and I click this my project tab, you'll notice that you don't see your video. And if I click on the website promotion folder, it's not here either. But if I click on the social media folder, voila, there it is. Now, if I click on this big plus sign, again, I'm asked to give my video a title. So once again, I'm going to give my video a title. I'm going to name it video number two. I'm going to leave these settings just as they are, and I'll simply click the create button. Again, I'm taken to the production room. And again, I'll just drag this onto the canvas. I'll click save, and then I'll click on my videos, and boom, there it is. After you place your first video in a folder, you will simply click the plus sign whenever you are ready to create your next video. Well guys, that's enough for now. We've just scratched the surface. There's so much more that you must know if you want to create high converting Dooley videos that will keep your viewers watching your content. 
So be sure to join me in our next lesson, lesson number three. We'll be discussing the importance of duplicating your videos before they get deleted. Now this is a must see lesson. It just might save you from losing your newly created videos. So when you are ready to power forward, head on over to lesson number three and I'll see you there.